The University of Colorado in Colorado Springs is defending itself tonight following revelations that it was secretly photographing students. More than a thousand people had their pictures taken without their permission. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski, Kovaleski explains why it was being done and why privacy experts believe the university went too far. Just about everywhere we go these days, Big Brother seems to be watching. But what about storing your image in a public database without your permission? I think that there's a question whether that's right in the first place. It started with these long range surveillance cameras. Zoomed in on the West Lawn of CU's campus in Colorado Springs, a public area with no real expectation of privacy. But what no one knew is they were secretly taking photos of more than 1,700 people, all to enhance facial recognition technology, software that can identify someone, in this case, image 432, as the same person in the same location on two different days. My biggest concern is just simply that they're gathering information about individuals without their permission. Bernard Chow teaches technology and law at DU and practiced law in Silicon Valley for nearly two decades. He questions the ethics behind the project. Well, I think that the, our privacy is sort of ebbing away in ways that we're not, we should not be happy with. Now we have to be concerned about what kind of information uh, people take, even if you're in public. The research was conducted during the spring semesters of 2012 and 2013, with funding from several U.S. intelligence and military operations, including the Navy. A spokesperson for the university defended the project, writing in a statement, the research protocol was analyzed by the UCCS Institutional Board and no personal information was collected or distributed in this specific study. The university also waited five years to release the photos taken in public areas to protect student privacy. That's even more concerning. I don't think they should be aware of that. You don't need to make them available publicly. Chow also thinks the project unfairly assumes everyone is on board with facial recognition, a technology evolving rapidly and happening way more than we think. The justification of improving something that we don't want is, um, is not necessarily a, a justification that all of us accept. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Oh, wow, fascinating.